Eleni Kunalakis is a former U.S. ambassador to Hungary, a Democrat and a businesswoman. So I haven't run for elected office, but I have served in a very high-level position as a United States ambassador. I ran an embassy in Budapest of almost 400 people. Keeping a sharp eye on higher education is a key component of the job, no matter who wins. The lieutenant governor sits on the board of regents for the University of California and the board of trustees for California State University. The cost to our kids to attend CSU and UC is really out of control. And if I'm elected, my most important priority uh, in terms of policy is going to be to oppose tuition hikes at the CSU and UC and find ways to bring the cost down to our students. Attorney Jeff Bleich, another Democrat, is also making his first run for elected office. He served as U.S. Ambassador to Australia and has experience in higher education. But I also served on the Cal State University Board for six years and was chair of the board for a year and vice chair for a couple of years. The lieutenant governor also plays the role of economic spark plug for the state, chairing the Commission of Economic Development, something Bleich considers to be his strong suit. We also have to prepare for the next economy, which is with automation and artificial intelligence, and we just haven't had enough conversation about how you work on that. For Republican businessman Cole Harris, economic development is a key reason why he's campaigning for lieutenant governor. It's also his first run for elected office. Economic development is is what I do every day in my business. So the one thing I get to do is write an economic development plan for California. Harris says he wants to make California more business friendly. But we need somebody in there with real business acumen that's going to say, hey, this is logical choice. This is what we need to be doing. And I believe I'm the guy to do that. The only state lawmaker in this race is Dr. Ed Hernandez, a Democrat who was termed out after eight years in the Senate and four in the Assembly. I'm the only candidate in this race that has elected experience in the legislature. Hernandez says his understanding of government and how it works makes him best qualified to go to bat for college students. Why not have that conversation about how we're going to bring additional money in, in collaboration, in partnership with business to make sure that we not only decrease tuition, but get to as close to as possible as tuition free.